Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Su uh, Super Mario Sunshine. I was nearly about to say Super Mario 64, but I had to stop myself before I even got started, just to make sure that I didn't do that. And now, that Mario's been arrested and we're on, we have to clean up everything, we're gonna look around. Welcome back, we're so glad you're safe, Mario. This vacation's just been a whirlwind of bizarre events, huh? And now the boat to the hotel isn't even running. Oh, that's not good. This island seems to be the victim of a bad turn of fate. Oh my, yes. Cool story, bro. I saw it with my own eyes. Uh, the man who took the princess was using a brush to draw graffiti. I saw it. I heard this was a sun-splashed uh, isle, but I, it sure is dark. It is because they've lost their so-called shine sprites. Or is it because they've lost their so-called shine sprites? But anyway, let's go clean up the dock over here. And see what happens. Come on. Come on, I know you can do it. There we go. Also, Flood is still... Looks like he's shooting out water in that cutscene, but he's not. So anyway, we can't get too close to him because the group keeps respawning. It's the same as the other group prana plants. Once we've got rid of him, everything gets cleaned up for us. Except he's not done yet, so... And he keeps spawning these monsters to try and get in our way. And so, by fighting him technically twice, we actually defeat him. And another level has been opened up for us. Rico Harbor, Episode 1. Glooper Blooper Breaks Out. This is what the level that I probably like. Uh, I don't know if it's the most, but I'd like this level a lot, so. Anyway, for now, let's get moving. And I think I actually want to check the cages here to start off. We can jump onto the bars by jumping onto them. And then press the Y button, I think, to bash the the flippy doors to get in. But there's a M down here, and if we clean it, we get out of another blue coin. So, now that we've got lots of multiple levels now, I, I can't even... I'm doing a bad job of this right now. <laughs> I keep pressing the, the hover novel switch. Ha! Ah. I can't... Can't words right now. I keep pressing the X button, which switches not nozzles. But anyway, now that we've got multiple levels that we know about, we need to get 30 blue coins in every level. Ow! Don't, 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 don't. So yeah, we're gonna be cleaning up the island a lot. Oh please, please. I, I should probably just shoot the ground, normally. And by normally I mean like this. There we go, another blue coin. If a blue coin disappears, it will just return back to its place, so you don't lose it permanently by missing it. Why is there so much stuff here? Also, I keep pressing the wrong buttons because I'm not used to playing this yet. Oh, he dropped some water. Sometimes enemies will drop little water bottles, which is what you can use to refill your water. There we go, another blue coin, which, which is in the water, apparently. So let's go ahead and grab that. I probably shouldn't save every single time I get a blue coin, because it's going to take a while. Otherwise... Well, so I saw the M over there. I'm going to go get that, if I can. Oh, my goodness. Calm down, Mario. Okay, let's grab that. Also, sometimes blue coins will only be available in certain shine selections. So, you probably want to grab them whenever you see them, just because if you don't, you will have to get it, get it, get it later by going back into the level 
in a specific mission for that level. Which can be annoying sometimes. But anyway, let me get on top of this house if I can. I probably want to side flip wall jump. If we've learned anything from Super Mario 64. Side flip wall jumps are very useful. Always has been. Another blue coin. We're doing pretty well on blue coins so far, but there's still a lot more to go. <laughs> still plenty more to go. Anyway, let's keep going. And now, I think I want to head up here. Maybe? Maybe not. Oh, there's a blue coin over there. So let me see if I can side flip and then hover over to there. Hopefully, not quite. That's fine. As long as I don't take fall damage, everything's going to be okay. These barrels here also, if we press the Y button next to them, we can grab them. Oh, that one's just sinking into the ground. What is happening? But anyway, if we jump and press Y again, you'll throw it, which is going to slosh water everywhere, which is very useful for cleaning up fairly early, but not that useful because of how everywhere it goes. Of how everywhere it goes. Anyway. That crate has a blue coin in it. I've saved again. I need to stop doing that. I, I promise I will stop at some point and then restart again. I'm going to keep doing it. There's nothing you can do to stop me. I don't think there's anything else from this group, but I just don't like the enemies spawning in it. I do know. I've heard a story from somebody who's played this game, and they said that they've they cleaned up every single bit of group they possibly could, which is just sad. Now, am I crazy? No, I'm not. There's a... a little invisible... blue shine... graffiti on the wall. And if we spray it, spray it enough, we get a blue coin. Get a 1-up from that. Still 1-ups in this game, just like Super Mario 64. Still not that great. Just because of how redundant they are whenever you die. Because game overs don't matter. That's just how it is. But anyway, oh, there's a blue coin there, but I can't get to it because I can ground pound on the panels to get underground. But if, if there's something on top of the panel, you can't get out, so. Just like that box there. So, let's head back now. We can also just dive and then keep pressing the jump button to keep diving forward, which is quite useful. We can jump out of the pipe or the underground quite easily. We can also spray these enemies, I think, to make platforms. Yeah, you can. It's not that important, though. But you can do it, so. Now, I think the way we actually need to go is actually back on the ship over here. Although, there are actually multiple ways we could also do it. So, if we side flip here and then use the hover nozzle, we can get up here, which allows us to get up here, which means we can access everything we need to access at the moment. But, there's a few other things we can do while we're doing things, so... Let's grab that blue coin there. Doing pretty well already. Let's grab this, which is probably a blue coin. They're not always blue coins in the... Um... The... Shadow Mario marks. But they usually are. Anyway, let me head back across that area over here. Because I need to keep going up if I'm going to keep collecting blue coins. There's one over there. Let me side flip and hover. Oh, nearly lost that, but that's fine. We can also grab onto ledges like we just did just then. Oh, the wind, the wind, the wind, the wind. Those things will try to knock you off. They're out. They are an enemy. But I believe the actual way you were supposed to go, instead of going across the like side flipping up the grating, you're actually supposed to go this way, I believe. So let me do that. By grabbing onto this grating thing. We can also grab onto the ceiling. We don't have to hold down a button like Super Mario 64. We can just hold on without doing anything. Now how do I get to where I need to go? That is my question. I think I can just go through here, right? There's no important coins to collect here. If we press the Y button, we can let go, which is nice. That's my big bro over there. See him? He's been practicing throwing people. He's got uh, ways to go, but practice makes perfect. Okay. Oh, oh, don't fall. Oh, I fell. That's not great. 
But I believe, while I'm here, if I press the Y button in water, I can dive down. And there's a blue coin down here. But while we're underwater, we also have another life meter, which is just, say, an air meter, basically. We can still collect coins to recover it, but that is just separate from our life meter still, so... Anyway, let me hop out of the water. Let me head back over to there if I can. I want to kind of follow the correct path and just show both ways that you can do it. There's a lot of goop in the water which you can't touch, otherwise you'll take damage. So that's why you need to go this way or over the top of everything. So let's go through here. Also, I think it's a way to get on top of this, probably, but I don't know how exactly at the moment, so that's fine. Let's just instead hover across to this platform that's moving. Now you. You want me to toss you all the way across the port to the port? Sorry, but I don't have that kind of power yet. Okay, so he tosses us after talk to him, talking to him. I heard that you can raise the sub by spinning that, that thing. But how in the world are you supposed to do that? You don't happen to know, do you? Well, I do actually happen to know, because if we spray this little spinny thing with water, it will keep spraying, or keep spinning, which raises up the submarine. And if we raise it all the way, a blue coin pops out, which is very nice with the game. But it's going to slowly lower in the, into the water again, so we need to go fast across here. And then hop onto this platform, which will take us up to where we could have just gone by going across the the thing up there. I don't know, actually, know what that's called. But anyway, let's get some more water back, and let's head on over this way, since this is where we're supposed to be going ages ago. There's a little tentacle coming out of this box, and also a lot of goop. The goop is coming from this box. The oil-like goop. So anyway, let's press Y on this little tentacle and just pull. And after a while... And Glooper Blooper pops out. Once again, if you keep spraying it with water, you can clean up its face, which is good. But we can also jump on top of its tentacles to get its tentacles to stop doing anything. And if we grab his tentacles and pull them, we can just take them off. You can only hit us with the, the, the middle two, uh, unless we're on one of the sides. So we need to be careful on where we're standing. But now we can grab his nose, and then pull until his eyes turn pink, and then let go. Slam him with his own nose. Now he spawns... Oh my goodness. He spawns a whole lot of... Goop again, and also recovers his tentacles. If we spray him, he'll sh try to use all his tentacles on us. But if I can take care of his tentacles for him, which would be nice, so I don't have to worry about them. He can reach fairly far as well with his tentacles. The range does change a lot for some reason. Oh, not quite the right one, but that's okay. Let me just wait a little bit for him to hit me with his other one. Grab. Please, thank you. And now, you also don't have to worry about letting go when his eyes turn pink, because you can also just pull for a while, and then, just automatically, let go. So that's also pretty useful. Yahoo! So there we go. Let's head back in and keep collecting shines. Blooper Surfing Safari. The infamous shine. No, not quite, I don't think. There is one a little bit more infamous than this, which is kind of related in the way it's set up, but we can't do it yet, so... Let's just go ahead and go over here 
And now, let me talk to you, please. Please? Please? Thank you. That's right, I'm the big daddy of blooper surfing. You like surfing? Hop on a blooper and give it a whirl. Oh, but one thing, big daddy, wave... Oh. Uh, uh, waves all liberty or for accidents. Now hang loose, bud. See, these bloopers here, you step on them and you start surfing at different speed depending on color. I don't know which which one's the fastest, which one's the slowest. I think it's green is the slowest, yellow middle, and then pink is the fastest. But I could I could be very wrong. If you crash into anything with a blooper head on, you die instantly. So that's why these these bloopers are slightly infamous. Now, I want to go over here because there's also a blue coin just hanging above the water. We can still jump for stuff out of the water, like coins or blue coins, which is good because there's quite a few that we need to do for that, so. But anyway, let's head into this hole. Woohoo! You want to go for a ride, bud? Go ahead and jump on the blooper you like best. Go on. Show me some super blooper surfing and win yourself a prize. Let's go, we have a timer on the bottom left of the screen. So we need to go through this course as quickly as possible without crashing. If you go onto land, you go a little bit slower. And you can also jump over some sections, but in the speed runs, you should, you should see the glitches you can do to skip most of this course. Oh, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash. There's a lot of things to hit. So you need to be very careful. I'm gonna just quickly jump. Why? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. I keep thinking A to jump and not B to jump. But anyway, I guess lives are kind of important in this game, but still not that important as long as you know what you're doing. Or you could just be like me and just be bad anyway. So, see if I can get through this. Oh, don't crash. Don't crash. Oh, please. Please. A lot of moving objects as well. I might just go this way. Yeah, that works. Okay, so let me see if I can do this again. Oh, come on, I can't- okay, so you can't jump on land? Is that- Is that what it is, or am I just pressing the wrong button to jump? I'm not sure anymore. Let me try this again, I'm gonna run out of lives. Okay. It is both, what? It's, it's both A, A or, or B. So why am I just messing up that jump then? It's probably just you can't jump on land, so I need to do a lot better everything. I should have probably actually picked a slower thing. Yeah, I was trying to jump in there and it wasn't working. Okay, so you can't jump on land. <sighs> I should probably pick a slower bloop, 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 bloop in future reference. Okay, I was pressing the button on the water. Why? I'm just mad now. I'm just mad now. Okay. You can probably do it with all three bloopers, otherwise you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to pick which one you wanted to use. But still. Okay. Just be careful. Maybe you can't do it while turning. Maybe that's the thing, you can't jump while turning as well. Because that could be it, but I No yeah, you can jump while turning, so what is happening? What is happening? Okay, here, let me try to turn wider, just so I have more space to jump over that bit there. It's not much of a time save, but it's definitely a little bit of time saved. Because we need to beat the end, get to the end in a fast enough time as well, I think. Although I think at the moment it's just get to the goal. So there we go. Let's grab the shine. And now, another group monster has appeared. But I just quickly want to prove myself wrong, basically. I, I think there's a second shine for doing the exact same thing, but you have to go fast. But I don't know for sure. Yeah, let me go again. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. 
I can probably do it. First try, maybe. I have experience now. I've done the beginner course. Okay. I'm gonna try using the pink blooper. Go. Okay. Concentration time. Concentrate. Don't mess up. Don't crash. Ha 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 ha. Oh, turn more. More turning. You can kind of skid against objects sometimes, but you have to still be careful not to crash into them. Jump! Oh, that was close. That was so close to death. But anyway, it looks like you're going to have a very good time. Yeah, that's a lot better. And for the better time, we do get another shine. If you've already collected a shine, it will be uh, clear and blue. So this one is actually an extra shine. So let me skip that scene there, because you can, somewhat. And now let me look at my totals real quick. Because I believe, if I go to my totals, we can see a question mark, question mark, question mark category. That is for secret shines in each world. I believe each world has at least one secret shine. But it may have more than that. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's just do this to make ourselves slide a lot faster. And let's head over to the next level, probably. Oh no, Blue Toad. I must save the Blue Toad. Oh, he's really just stuck though. I don't think I can save him. So let's try and take out this monster then. And this one should take a little bit of time to beat. I think it's just as strong as the other one we fought. So it has two phases to take care of. Please. It's really annoying having these extra monsters trying to attack me. It's not over yet, the music's still going. Oh, and he spawned a whole bunch of those monsters. It's a good thing I can spray them to take most, most of them out. I like the way they look, I just don't need them. Save Toad, save Toad, save Toad, save Toad. I like how it clears up the whole area, but if there's one goopy monster around, it can still make a little bit of mess. Anyway, let's save Toad. Thanks, Mario! Cool. Anyway, let's go over to this level and have a look. Gelato Beach. Dune Bud Sandcastle Secret. Hey you, don't get the water dirty here. And don't step on the dune buds. Thanks for your cooperation. What's wrong with getting the water dirty? I don't know. But anyway, with these dune buds, we can spray with water. And they just change the entire everything of the area around them. Which is quite fun, but oh my goodness. Cataquack, cataquack, cataquack. The cataquacks launch you into the air and usually make you take damage. You can jump, you can spray them and then jump on them to stun them for a bit, but they will get back up eventually. Anyway. Oh my goodness, turtle. The sand's in the shape of a turtle. I like how it has different shapes depending on where you spray it. Now this here is what we call a dune bud. Dune buds are odd plants that appear only on this beach. If you water them, strange things will happen. Sand Cabana. Uh, if no one's here, be prepared to wait for a long time. Okay, well, if I jump up here, there's a blue coin. And also some other coins. And I think if I spray this dune bud, 
it makes a footprint print in the ground, which is pretty cool. A gigantic footprint. So, these dream buds are fun. Especially if you catch a cataract on one of them. Where'd it go? Oh, it actually killed it. Oh my goodness. I guess that's a thing then. Is killing them with dune buds. There's also red cataquacks that also are pretty much the same, just just a different color. But anyway, this dune bud makes a sand castle appear, and it's slowly melting away. So let's get in there quickly. And this is a secret shrine level. It's still technically part of the no normal s the shines that you're supposed to collect. But in these secret levels, Shadow Mario takes away Flood, so we don't have Flood, and we have to get through this level to get to the shine. It's pretty cool, but, yeah. If you fall, you die, and yeah. This sand will disappear after stepping on it, so we need to go quickly. And that's pretty much all you need to know about secret levels. They're usually just floating platforms in space, basically. And you just need to get to where the shrine is. Fairly simple. Might even grab that 1-up since 1-up's somewhat useful, as long as you don't exit the game. Why did I- oh my goodness, I just walked off. I should have just gone for the shine. <sighs> because I was walking off of an edge, the, the momentum just stays with you a little bit and it's difficult to not die. I should also be diving a little bit more sometimes. I guess that's not really necessary, but anyway. This game is definitely harder than other Mario games, but I think that's okay. Because I think that means that if if, it, if there's a challenge, we can get better at video games, right? Let's all agree upon this. I'm just gonna get the shine and not hang around here. There we go. So there we go. We could also have seen a secret level prior to this point, but I've been progressing level to level a little bit quicker than I need to, just because they're opening up to me. So anyway, let's head back in and get a little bit more shines. And I might even go back to previous, the other two levels to get more shines, so. Mirror Madness Tilt Slam Bam. You have to say it like that. You are legally obligated to say it like that. Not actually, but you have to say it like that. Anyway. Alert, alert, just look at the top of the tower. That's such a great sound. <laughs> Some weird thing has curled up on the tower and to take a nap. The regular is what it's called, it's a, it's a regular. This could be endangered. Uh, this could endanger the legendary sandbird egg. Which is pretty cool that there's a sandbird egg in that tower, but... Why is there a sandbird egg in that tower? Also, am I crazy, or can I spray this sign for something to happen? I'm probably just crazy. I'm crazy. Cool. Well, as long as I know. But anyway, if we spray over here, a palm tree will appear. So let's use that as a way of getting up to this ledge. And I believe, let's get a blue coin from this graffiti here. Very nice. Also, is there another one, like over this way? Oh, there's a triangle. Those are different, for different reasons. I'll, I'll be looking at those at some other point in time. But first, let's go further up this way. And just take a look around, I guess. We can spray this here for some stairs. I think the stairs stay there most of the time, maybe? I might be wrong. I'm very good at being wrong sometimes. But anyway, we can get onto that uh, solar panel mirror thing. They're not solar panels, they're mirrors. I know what I'm talking about from there, but there's also this area up here, and there's some blue birds, and there's green birds. If we spray the green birds enough, if I could not be wrong, 
We spray the- oh, come on. They like to fly away when sprayed or threatened. But if we spray them enough... Maybe. If we spray them enough... They drop coins. If we spray the bluebirds, though... Once they get back from flying around... They're kind of annoying because they fly away, but still... Kind of necessary. Oh, there's a blue coin up there. Where are the bluebirds? There. There's one. Two. But if we can manage to spray them long enough... The bluebirds... Oh my goodness. Drop blue coins. There's one over there. That one was from one of the birds. Grab that quickly before it disappears. Oh, and this slope is too slippery, so I'm gonna get back up here quickly before I slide off. Okay. Come on, bluebird, I want you to return so I can spray you with water. Please. Please, bluebird. Bluebird, please. Oh my goodness. This is fun. I don't think um, mass spraying them with your jump spray thing is very good, so I probably don't need to do that. Here it comes. Hopefully I've got it lined up, and then spray! Spray! There we go. Let's go get that on the slope somewhere. Where'd it go? Did it... Did it land on the... In the ground. Did it go through the ground? Or did it... I don't know where it is. Maybe the bluebirds? Okay, the bluebird is actually still alive. Okay. I think this is a better angle because I can get more water onto it quicker. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better of an angle. Anyway, let's grab that. And let's get this shine. Which might take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Ow! Bumping into walls. If you uh, dive jump, it kind of makes you walk around quickly. Anyway, let's just quickly spray one of you, or multiple of you, away from me to the point where you're on one leg, and then slam the mirror from the, the side that's on the highest point to make them fly off. And there we go. And for getting rid of them... The mirror realigns itself, but that's not the only mirror. Mario. Might get some more water from this box here, because this box here is the hover nozzle. So by collecting a new nozzle, you'll recover all of your water, so... Let's get up here if I can. Oh, it's too, too low, too low. I need to climb a tree. Climb the tree, please, Mario. Also, those spikes on the tree will actually hurt you, so you have to be a little bit careful about that. Anyway, let's spray you away. And slam. If you don't slam it at the right point, it won't work properly. Also, whenever you realign one of the mirrors, it teleports you around. So, if you can get off the mirror before it teleports you, it shouldn't teleport you, I don't think. I could also be wrong. I'm... I just don't know everything about this game, but I'm trying to explain. I should probably just stop saying that I could be wrong, because... I could be wrong with anything I say, so I just... Just just assume that I could always be wrong. I don't always. Just, just take everything you hear with a grain of salt, basically. Anyway, let's spray these away. And slam! I think it teleported me. But anyway, for realigning all three mirrors... We have nightmares. <laughs> Basically... It just... Fell apart. The Wriggler just fell apart. I feel like I should be very concerned about that. Anyway, let's go get this shine now. Oh, sorry, am I crazy? No, I'm not crazy. If we spray this beach here a little bit, a blue coin also appears. So let's grab that, and let's grab the shine.
And that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.